Hello again, Wargaming Enthusiasts! I'm back with the new roster, so let's see what our forces for the next mission will consist of. So, basically what, we're, what we've got here, our main primary um, striking force will be this uh, tank company. It consists of two tank platoons, so it's under strength, but it consists of two tank platoons of medium tanks, each containing three T-34-85 medium tanks of the 1944 early uh, variety, which I think has the DT-5 85mm uh, gun, which is slightly slower, slightly less accurate than the later variants. But nevertheless, it's a pretty good tank, and uh, it's something that we're very much used to from the previous mission. Uh, we had at least one of them. Um, and this is going to be our main anti-tank, as well as main anti-infantry force. We're going to use them to shell the hell out of everything in sight from preferably a distance. Um, we're going to supplement that tank company with the Tanko de Santniki company, which is basically, uh, it's also under strength, so it consists of two platoons of SMG infantry. It's very much the normal infantry that we're used to with the Soviets, except that they are grouped together in or organized in such a manner that will allow them to ride tanks without having to split teams into uh, smaller units. So their morale won't suffer as an effect of uh, having to be transported. Um, these are also guard units, so uh, you will see that their experience and motivation tend to be very high. Um, well, not all of them, but uh, definitely we've got some veterans here, uh, we've got some regulars here, and we've got a couple of green units um, somewhere here. Anyway, um, so this infantry shouldn't... Uh, become pinned as easily and shouldn't panic as easily under fire as uh, normal Soviet infantry does. And they will be performing scouting scouting duties first of all. They're going to be uh, supporting tanks, they're going to be uh, walking in front of tanks through the woods and, and things like that, and trying to spot enemies uh, for the tanks, in which case the tanks will be able to engage. So that's our main force here. Uh, we're going to supplement that force with some uh, fire support, let's say. First of all, we've got an IL-2 element with light armament, which is an aircraft. Uh, ground attack aircraft seemed to be a very good idea in the last mission and performed very well, so I'm very happy to take it again, and hopefully uh, it will do as good of a job. Although I'm expecting my opponent to take some more precautions, as well as some more anti-aircraft uh, weaponry. Uh, in case I do take a, an airplane again. In addition to that, we've got a uh, forward observer section who's going to spot targets for this rocket battery here. It consists of four 82mm rocket launchers, uh, BM-824s, which, which, which are uh, Katyushas of some variety, and uh, these we will use to rain fire down on any fixed emplacements or uh, fixed positions that we can spot. If we're able to figure out where the enemy is at the beginning of the game, we're going to use them then. Otherwise, we're going to have to use our observer to spot uh, some sort of uh, some some sort of position that that we know is not going to move for about ten minutes or so, or however long it is for the observer to actually cool down the rocket bot battery. Which, which can be a long time. So preferably, I prefer to use them in the beginning. Um, but, you know, whatever. And uh, in addition to all that, we've also got an anti-aircraft battery. Again, since our planes performed so well in the previous mission, I'm suspecting that my opponent might might just 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 figure what the hell and take a plane as well. I don't know whether the Luftwaffe is actually any good. Um, points-wise uh, to take in this game, but uh, just in case my enemy does decide to take some, we should have some anti-aircraft uh, forces here, so and some anti-aircraft weaponry. Uh, so we have two anti-aircraft heavy guns. These are 85mm guns uh, mounted on a rotating uh, stand, I guess. Um, so they're quite capable of taking out aircraft. Um, and uh, in case my opponent uh, figures that aircraft is uh, not necessary, we're going to use these as uh, anti-tank guns because they have quite a punch and should be able to penetrate pretty much anything we can see uh, in this game and in this period 
uh, from quite a ways away. The only problem is that they lack mobility. So I've actually added two Studebaker trucks here, land lease trucks, which should be able to uh, carry them along if we need to change their position. But I'm actually not sure whether the Studebaker truck is able to pull an 85 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. So when uh, actually deploying them initially, I have to make certain that I'm not going to put them somewhere silly where they will not be useful for the, for the rest of the game. Just in case, I won't be able to move them later. Anyway, that's it. That's all my forces. Um, and uh, whether this these choices are any good, well, I guess we'll see during the battle. So um, I guess uh, see you back at the deployment phase. Bye.